Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to install Squared Up. This will be quite a short video because installing Squared Up is really quite straightforward. So let's have a look at some prerequisites here. Now of course you need to start with the Squared Up software itself and you can download the installer for the latest version from our website squaredup.com. You also need a Squared Up license, whether that be a trial or a production license if you're a customer. Now in terms of uh, the prerequisites for the Squared Up server itself, uh, if it needs to be running Windows Server 2008 R2 SP1 or above, and you can install it on a standalone dedicated Windows Server or on the SCOM management so server itself. It's totally up to you. Uh, regarding SCOM, you need to be running SCOM 2012 or above in order to use Squared Up. And in terms of the user accounts, it needs SCOM admin rights as well as admin rights over the SCOM Data Warehouse SQL instance. So now, once you have all of that in place, we can start uh, installing Squared Up. The installation process usually takes no more than 10 minutes, and there's a simple setup wizard that will take you through each of the steps. You can see the key steps on this slide here, um, but the best way to show you would be to do a from scratch install of a Squared Up instance. So that's what we're gonna do now. So now I've just navigated to my Squared Up server, and I'm going to run the installer. Just click yes to accept changes. And here on the, um, the wizard welcome screen, I can see that it's breaking down the setup into three distinct phases, installation, deployment, and configuration. I'm just gonna click continue uh, to see our software license agreement. So here, just have a read of our software license agreement, our standard EULA, um, and then if that all looks good, just click accept the agreement and then install. So this will install uh, Squared Up, and if you are missing any prerequisites like IAS web roles or the .NET framework from your server, then we'll install that as well. So now you're ready to deploy Squared Up, and it's just showing you some of the default settings, for example, for the website, the pool identity, and um, the, the default URL. So you can modify this, but for now we're just going to continue. So here we've automatically detected what we think is your SCOM management server. Um, in this case, my, uh, my server is connected via a gateway server, so actually I need to correct this um, and direct it to the fully qualified dom domain name of the SCOM management server or the IP address of the, the SCOM management server. So once you've entered the correct name of your SCOM management server, you're ready to deploy. And this will only take a few more seconds and then we're ready to move on to the third and final stage of the setup process, which is the configuration of Squared Up within the browser. So when I click launch, um, this will take me to the browser and allow me to sign into Squared Up for the first time. So this is just going to take a few seconds. Great, and now I can sign into Squared Up, and here's where I want to use the account with uh, SCOM um, admin privileges as well as admin rights on the SCOM Data Warehouse uh, SQL instance. So now we're just checking the activation status on this machine. Um, and because we're installing from scratch, uh, there shouldn't be any activation files on disk. So now it's just gonna ask me for an activation key, which is exactly what I'm going to provide it. And at this stage, I should note that um, activating in the normal way does require the server to have internet access. However, if your server, your Squared Up server does not have internet access, we do have an offline activation workflow, uh, which just takes a couple of minutes more. But since this server does have internet access, we're just going to proceed in the normal way and activate. That's gone through. And um, this is just confirming that we've connected to the data warehouse. Uh, this is just confirming that we've uh, set up the open access feature, which you'll learn about in other videos. Um, and we're just going to import some template dashboard packs before we get started with Squared Up. So that is the end of the installation process. And now we have full access to Squared Up. And um, you can see that Squared Up is already pulling all that great SCOM data from the data warehouse. And I can go to the universal search bar, find a server in my environment, check out that drill down as well. I can uh, go ahead and create dashboards and pull all kinds of SCOM data into my view. And I can share these dashboards with everyone in my organization via the open access feature. So thank you for joining me for this short video tutorial and I hope you make the most out of Squared Up.